Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so this is the third time that I have filmed this vlog in three days. <laughs> so, today is the 24th of March. It is my birthday and it is the first day of the UK lockdown. So I first tried filming this vlog on Sunday <clears throat> um, and it was mostly focusing on the issues I'd had uh, getting the food that I wanted to be to, to get to make sure that I'd be okay if you know anything would happen um and then talking about just how much had changed in work over like almost no space and time and how you know it's, I was taking the week off for my birthday because I always take the week off for my birthday um and I was just concerned about how things would be once my week off had finished we're gonna wake up Monday morning and uh, those of you who um, do follow my vlog, um, do fast food, and will know that most of the fast food places Monday have closed their doors until um, after this crisis has passed. So whereas I still have a job, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I'm fairly sure I still have a job. Um, that was, uh, yeah, that, that happened a lot more suddenly than I was expecting it to happen. Um, and it was an understandable move and, um, you know, a lot of fast food places, I think pretty much all of the fast food places have um, done that now, which is why I'm saying fast food places, because once again, I'm not specifying which one I work at, because... Um, uh, you, you, you don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that when you're talking about things on the internet. I mean, I love my job. I do genuinely love my job. In fact, um, when I did film the version of this I filmed yesterday, um, it was not long after I'd found out. Um, and I was still quite obsessed about it because I do genuinely love my job in not so much being like there's also a little bit of worry and fear about where things are going to go from here um and how long it's going to be until I'm back doing that job again um but yeah uh I I was a little bit upset um when filming that vlog so there's kind of a part of me that's kind of bad I don't have to edit around me crying anymore <laughs> I know I wasn't like really really um crying with it but I think I just felt quite overwhelmed and um thinking about it now I probably should have waited a little bit longer before refilming um anyway just so that I had a chance to sort of properly calm down and focus my mind on everything um, I don't like to be an overly emotional person. Um, I do like to be quite positive and quite optimistic. And I did make a point uh, filming the one that I filmed yesterday with trying to end things a bit more positively. Um, and then obviously uh, last night, um, so from, from today, lockdown has now come into effect. So in the space of three days, things have changed a lot a scary amount um really uh <laughs> did i mention it was my birthday today <laughs> and yes for those of you who have read hi in a boy i do have the same uh birthday as jay not the same year of birth obviously but the same um day and month um, I, I do share that with him. I'm actually 20 years younger than him exactly. <laughs> um, so today is his 53rd birthday. <laughs> 
today, one of my favourite characters of all time is 53. Um, living in a fictional version of this country that I hope isn't having to go on to lockdown right now because if they are, I severely worry about Zell and his health conditions. <laughs> but they are fictional, so I'm sure they are fine. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to sort of find a bit of humour and, and positivity in, in all this because I definitely did not think, um, I definitely did not think this time last week and I definitely did not think on Saturday at the start of my week off that I would be sitting down to film a vlog on my birthday. I, you know, intentionally did it on Sunday so that I could chill and relax and, you know, edit it when I needed to edit it um, and not have to worry too much about it and, and stuff like that. Um, and then, as I said, things changed, so I had to refilm it yesterday and then things changed again. So here we are. Um, and I know there is time between now and Friday for me to have filmed it again, but... Um, I felt like this was the, the more appropriate response. Um, who knows, I may have to film several more versions of this before we get over. <laughs> there could be like a timeline, could be like a timeline um, of, of all the things that kind of happened, like just done for me, the same vlog having to be refilmed so many times. Um, so, as you guys have been following my channel for a couple of years will know, um, usually in March I do a vlog that is related to birthdays because it is my birthday month and usually falls either the week before or the week after my birthday. This one would have fallen the week after my birthday and I had intentionally done that because my original plan for my birthday was to get a new tattoo. So it would have worked where you'd have had that vlog and then the following vlog, I would have had my tattoo, but obviously that's not happening now. Um, my tattoo artist actually uh, emailed me last week uh, to postpone it because um, obviously he couldn't be sure what the situation would be this week. And because it was still at that point pretty much a week away, it made sense to sort of instead of, you know, waiting until the last minute, um, sort of preempting it a little bit, and I can't blame him for that. Um, I'd taken the attitude where it was very much, um, I was more than prepared for it to be postponed, but I wasn't going to postpone it myself if they were still operating, because I didn't want to deprive them, of, you know, my, my tattoo artist of any uh, potential income if, they could still, you know, he could still be working during this time because it's a very scary position to be in when you're not completely sure um, what's going to be happening for you financially over the next however many weeks uh, that this goes on for. Um, there's still a lot of stuff I need to figure out, a lot of stuff that I need to, to sort and, and to do and to try and navigate this situation as best I can. I'm still trying to be optimistic about this and hopefully if the lockdown works and people you know, follow the rules and we can, uh, we can you know, neutralise this curve thing I keep hearing about. <laughs> um, and, and reduce the, the risk to people. Um, hopefully the situation will re resolve itself sooner rather than later and things will get back to normal um, sooner rather than later. But I'm having to sort of try to figure things out at the moment. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's that very much that kind of situation at the moment, um, sort of waiting to hear on information, waiting to get an idea of what I can be doing, what I should be doing, um, in order to make sure that I'm going to be okay, um, looking into what options there are out there for me potentially earning a little bit of money either from home or from whatever without, you know, posing a risk to myself or, or anybody else, um, 
with that in mind, obviously I am a writer. <laughs> um, so those books I've been talking about, I'm trying to get them polished up and ready to go in as fast a turnaround as I possibly can at this point. Um, just because, again, the more books I have out there, the more chances that somebody is going to pick them up, the more chances that something's going to take off. Um, and, you know, uh, indie authors, they live or die by the number of books that they have out there as, as much as they do by the quality of it. So my aim is to have uh, as many high quality books out there as possible um, in the next couple of years. And, you know, my goal this year is to get three out there. My goal next year is to get three or four out there, depending on how long it takes me to sort of edit everything and, and sort of get through the editing process for things. Um, I have a very def definite plan as to what all the books are that I'm releasing. Obviously this year I've, I've, I know what ones there are and next year I've got a definite plan about which ones um, I want to sort of bring out. and. It's just about kind of going, OK, I've got to utilise this time that I've got uh, as best as I can and, and find ways of um, not only, you know, producing more work um, in, as, as, you know, in, in the quality that we want the work to be produced in, um, as well as making sure that it's easily accessible for people. So. Pine Boy has just had its first two free days of the five free days um, that I can give it per select cycle. Uh, the next three days are going to be as planned, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week. So that is, I believe, the 29th, 30th and 31st. Um, I'm fairly sure that's what the dates are. Um, obviously, follow my Twitter and that will give you the precise dates for it. So that's still going ahead as planned. Um, Echo is coming up for its next select um, re cycle renewal um, towards the middle of next month, so I will be letting you guys know about dates for that. Obviously, when I get the new books ready for release, they will also have their free days. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to play their free days yet, but I will do it in the best way or the the most um, the best way for making it as accessible to as many people as possible because I know this is a time where a lot of people are going to be financially struggling. So I very much want, if I can get them a free copy, to get them that free copy first um, as much as possible. Because at the end of the day, if people are, are reading my work, then you know that, that's going to go a long way to, <laughs> to helping with the other things that I need to, to do to, to make myself more successful, which is, you know, visibility and reviews and stuff like that so yes there is a, a slightly selfish motive behind it but there's also a sense of um, you know get people being able to read and not having to worry about how much it's costing them to read is is important um, it's you know one of the reasons why I'm sharing uh, book links on Twitter constantly uh, especially by indie authors, especially the ones which are saying my book is currently at a lower price or free or, you know, this, that and the other. It's kind of like, you know, people out there need books more than ever right now. And I'm just trying to make sure that books are visible whilst also playing my part. All my books are now discounted. They are all now priced at the lowest possible price they can be in their region. Um, it means I do get less, uh, I, I do make less money on them, but that's not important. I would rather they were as accessible as possible for people than worry about how much money I'm getting from them because, you know, I'm not exactly getting a lot of money from them at this point in time anyway, because not enough people are buying them anyway. So rather than kind of going, you know, I'm selfishly going to keep this priced at this, particularly high price, I'm like, no, you know what, let's just make it as cheap as possible for everybody and make sure that, you know, because I can't have it as free as, you know, free as often as I would like, um, so that people can have that, that very easy access to my work, I will do the next best thing, which is I will make it as cheap for them as I, I'm allowed to make it um, on, on KDP's pricing system. 
and just go from there and, and just see what happens from there because you know at, at the end of the day it's important people are reading um so yeah as i said uh echo colors i see and hyena boy are all at their new prices um i know it is 99p for the uk it's 99 cents um for the us um it is whatever the smaller amount of a euro is it's it's you know 0.99 euro um i believe it's 99 cents in, in canada as well um yeah there, there are a whole bunch of prices <laughs> there are a whole bunch of prices um a lot of them are the 0 0.99 because that's how the currency works um, if the currency doesn't work like that then it tends to be a bit more of an, a, a slightly odder price um i think it's something like 49 yen something like that <laughs> i literally went through and i manually changed every single price um on all three books in order to bring them down to the the for, for each region in order to bring them down to to the lowest price possible because if you just sort of price it for your region it automatically sets it as the equivalent price in the other regions um so i had to go through the the list for all three books and manually adjust it so it was the price that i wanted it to be uh, which is the lowest price price possible for, for all three of those books um and then i had to wait for it to <laughs> then i had to wait uh, i think it's about an hour for all three of them to finally click into the new prices although saying that um Hyena boy was still free yesterday so that's gone to the 99p price um, from about eight o'clock this morning. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, that that was that was a decision I made, and that, that I sort of made that decision based on the idea of um, releasing the the next two books that I'm going to release, and wanting to make sure that they were priced as cheaply as possible because I know people are not necessarily going to have the money there, um, and I was like, well, why not just do that for all of them? Why not just bring all my books, all my ebooks, down to the same price? Um, there's nothing to stop me from doing it. Um, you know, if it's uh, you know as cheap as possible for for everybody, then it's more it's more easily accessible. Um, you know, this that and the other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My my head's been very full of okay, let's be practical and sensible and fair and try to make sure that you know reading is. You know it's still something that people can do at this time because it's something that should be readily available to everybody anyway and you know the easier that you make it for people to access it um the better it is in the long run for for everybody at least you know that's that's the way i'm trying to think about it right now um so i made this announcement on my facebook page today so on my birthday um so it's, it's be a few days by the time this goes up um and i also made the same uh post the same announcement on twitter i'm announcing the name of the two books that are going to be released um so i didn't do like the full talk through of how this is going to work um but i announced the uh the series arc title um but not the umbrella title because what I've decided to do, and this is this is what I was mentioning earlier about my my sort of three year plan, three year plan, my my this year and the next year plan, and then actually does go into the third year as well. But I hadn't mentioned it was a three year plan previously. Um, so the idea is at, at the moment, and it's at the moment it's just the three arcs, but there, there may there, there's room for me to bring in other arcs um, as and when. At the moment, it's just the three arcs. Um, basically, so as I mentioned before, the two books I'm currently editing through are technically part of the four book series. Um, but that the the fourth and the third and the fourth book, um, I wasn't entirely sure if I, I wanted to release them. I I think I am now. I'm I'm pretty sure that I am now. But I also knew that they sort of deviated away from the original kind of story just enough that they couldn't necessarily all fall under the same um, series title. So, <laughs> um, with that in mind, and knowing that there is another series which has similar thematic 
um, ideas and similar sort of tone and feel to it. Um, I've decided to create a umbrella series uh, with arcs um, and put them all together. Um, this is something I've been workshopping with the guy that does my covers, um, like even like the, the name of the umbrella. Uh, so the umbrella for all of the arcs is going to be Shadows Beneath the Light. Um, Another said there may end up being more than three arcs. At the moment, I've just got three arcs planned and then see where it goes from there. Um, so it, like the Umbrella series is going to be uh, Shadows Beneath the Light. Um, and then the first arc, uh, the one that I'm currently working on, is The Dollmaker's Son. And the books are Broken Before Youth and Welcome to Marysdale. <laughs> Um, I don't know yet if I'm going to be releasing the books one at a time or if I'm going to release them both together at the same time. Um, it depends on how the editing process goes and uh, how and when the covers are ready because obviously um, my, my cover guy is, I think, starting to, to put the concepts and stuff um, or build the elements um, that I'm going to need for, or that we're going to need for to everything um, but yeah it, it will all depend on you know how quickly I can get through things um, whether I sort of want to stagger the releases or whether I want to release them together at this moment in time I kind of want to release them together but stagger their three days a little bit so one is like that they're, they're not both well maybe have them both on three days at the same time we'll see we'll see how it goes um, I might sort of do them together this cycle and then split them up next cycle um, sort of three months from now when you know the situation has changed hopefully <laughs> um, so yeah that's that's very much how I am dealing with this situation at the moment is to basically go okay I know I can't afford to live as a full-time writer um, at the moment but there's no reason why I can't, whilst I've got the time, have along that time lasts, um, be putting into place as much as possible. Um, I mean, I would have had this week off this holiday anyway, so I need to utilise it as best I can. And I was always planning to utilise it as best I can. And then it's just a case of, yeah, let's let's see what we can do. Let's see where we can go from here. Let's see how much an opportunity we can we can uh, take to get what I've already planned to do for this year there and done and finished and available for people as quickly as possible. Because right now people need stories. <laughs> right now the world needs stories, and it is up to us writers to provide for them. <laughs> God, that sounds terribly arrogant. Okay, all right. So with that all done and said, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to the next one and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.